This time I'm gonna make uh, couscous with uh, beef and satay sauce. I don't know, if that's how you pronounce it, it's peanut sauce. And right away on the beef, I use beef jerky because I found out that when you put it in boiling water and let it sit, the water doesn't need to be boiling all the time, it doesn't need to be boiling at all. Then it turns out pretty good, it's like regular beef from a stew. This is some uh, sun-dried tomato, they're completely dry, dehydrated veggies, coconut cream powder, and the peanut sauce, couscous. deciliters of couscous makes it two deciliters of broth. I don't know how much beef it is, but it looks okay. I just, this is the rest of the veggies I got, so I'm going to use all of it. Cauliflower and broccoli because it makes a lot once rehydrated. That was just a little bit of coconut cream powder. This is a little old, <laughs> but I guess it has to work out. It says it's it is kind of spicy, so it says that you want to add according to how spicy you want it. Uh, and uh, I'll just use one tablespoon. If the kids find it too spicy, they get to drink a lot of milk. That was not a full tablespoon. That's a full tablespoon. Yeah, this is the onion panel. So, 150 milliliters of water, so 60 grams. 60 grams, I guess it's about. I have no idea. So. <coughs> I use half a tablespoon, so one and a half, that's two tablespoons. I'm going to use three tablespoons. And some veggie broth. I could use a beef stock which might be a good idea. So I'll use maybe a teaspoon of this and some beef stock. I'll just use something like that. And 
and this is what it looks like. Two hundred and seventy four, that's the heaviest so far, which is good. I fit a lot in there this time. And that's almost two for two people, two normal adults like me or my kids. And that's it for the couscous with beef and peanut sauce with a lot of veggies. I think this one is really nice. So you just add six, five, five to six deciliters of boiling water, seal it, wait, and it's done.